So you've gone through the hassle of making your own power cord or adapter, and you just want to make sure, do I have it wired correctly? Well, for under $20, you can purchase a multimeter, and you can check it yourself, and make sure that the job is done right before you use it. So here's the process of testing your power cord for continuity and making sure that it's wired properly. Here we have an RV30 or TT30 pigtail with uh, removed jackets that we can show you exactly how you'd do it if you only had one wired end. But the process would be exactly the same even if you had two wired ends on. To begin uh, testing your power cord, just get your multimeter out and make sure that it's on the little sound wave uh, setting here. This is going to make a noise when you uh, have the pins in the correct locations. Now that we have our multimeter in place and our power cord ready, um, it's important to understand that uh, for each cord you may have more wires. There could be three wires or four wires generally for RV and generator use. First thing you want to do is identify the ground pin. Generally the ground pin is identified by a G on the plug. Go ahead and put one of your prongs inside of the ground pin. Now ground is going to normally be a green wire. When you put that in there you should get a noise and the ohmmeter should show a reading. Now we're going to go ahead and do that again for the live pins as well as the neutral. Nope, not that one. There we go. And then the last. Perfect. Now we know exactly which cable runs to which, and we know whether or not we have it wired correctly or not. See, as you can tell, it's not really that hard to test your own power cord or your adapter before you use it. In fact, it's actually a great idea because it saves you time as well as it actually might save your life. So. If you like these videos or you want to see more tips and tricks, why not leave us a comment below or just subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates when a new video arrives.